Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Free Civ. Uh, we are in the year, or almost 1900, 1898, and uh, last time I squandered a few units. Um, you know, one thing about Free Civ, if you have to get into the mindset of Civ 2 and the, the earlier Civs, and something I was not doing. I've been playing some other Civ, or Civ 5 more recently, and the, the, the rule with Civ 2 is it's all about um, strength in numbers. So, things like sending three tanks in to try to take a city is probably not a good idea. I should what I should be doing is building up a big force and then just steamrolling. That is that is the way to do uh, sub two and such. So that is what I will be doing this time. Um, I got myself into a bit of a interesting situation because we do have a two front war going on. Nothing wrong with that. I never hurt anybody, right? But, uh, yeah, so we've got Southern, uh, we, we are over the, the Tupi here, and we also have the Sioux up top here, and the, the Hopi are also at war with, and there's someone else, uh, wait, that's, is that, that's the Cherokee, the Hopi are here. And, okay, so a couple of things I learned. Every time I do an episode, I learn some things. <laughs> um, so one thing I can do, I do have railroads, so I should be building railroads, and not only do railroads give you like crazy uh, movement, they also give you apparently a uh, bonus production on the squares. So that is definitely something to be looking at. Um, the other thing is the way that the capitals work. If you take a capital, there's a chance that that capital will uh, create a civil war. So for instance, if I could take the Sioux capital, there's a chance that perhaps some of these northern cities would break off and be somebody different. Which, um, which is interesting, because uh, it's not a surefire thing, but what if I came over here and took Tokyo? What could that do to Japan? Because look how massive Japan is. They're super spread out. Not that it makes much of a difference, depending... I mean, if they're a happy-go-lucky kind of people, then that's not a big deal. But if they are cranky and, and having some revolts and things, then that could easily set them off. Anyways, I have yammered far enough. Oh, oh more than, I, I have not yammered enough because I have one more thing. Um, I went through and I turned my luxuries up to 10%. I took tax down one notch, so that's why I'm losing money right now. Bumped luxuries up to 10%. And I went through and set my cities up. So we have a lot of happy folks around the place. Not not crazy happy, but but we have some happy folks. And so our production should be a little better than it, than it has been. Uh, we're going to just let this turn go, though. And I think the plan this time is we're going to build up a decent amount of tanks, um, both for uh, the Amazon, basically, taking out the Tupi, and for, we'll put some more in Mexico, so they can focus on, uh, like, the Cherokee and, and them. Uh, what else What else have I got? i got all kinds of things this, between these two episodes. Uh, mechanized infantry will be something to go for. They, will be a, they provide a decent defense that I can use to uh, defend my howitzers, which I will be building very soon, which was robotics? Yes, robotics is what we want, and that's what we're getting right now. Where's mechanized infantry? Mechanized infantry. I don't... There they are. They're in labor union. Okay. I want howitzers first. And then we'll get labor union. Yeah, that's, that's good. Um, For now, where are you? Oh, yeah. Go ahead and, and march up here with this tank. We'll go ahead and just set that as a, a nice meeting point. Um, go ahead and keep building your roads. We'll go back and do railroads. Another thing, we could do railroads in Panama. Um, that would help their production. That's a, kind of a horrible producing town. And Mr. Warrior here. I could upgrade or I could just get rid of the guy. How much do you cost to upgrade? Let's see. If I upgrade you, how does that work? Do I go... Oh, you do go straight to a... a where's my help thing? Why is my help thing never here? There we go. Um, stop that. Stop that. You do this. And... Oh, okay, I'm back. Uh, my, my, my OBS was running really slow. And uh, then it just crashed on me. It's probably a good thing because it was looking kind of choppy there. So I apologize for that. Uh, where was I? Uh, I moved my window. And I upgraded my warrior to a rifle. Which maybe I should be doing that. So I have folks like, you know, this guy with a spear... Um, yeah, I probably should upgrade them. 
<laughs> Even though, yeah, I probably should be opening. It would say 100, 100 bucks to do them. We can do at least one of the guys per town. Just have them, have them around. I wonder, though, if I wait till I get mechanized infantry, I wonder if it would be more cost effective to hold off for just a bit. Hit my screen there. Um, and then upgrade them? Or does it make a difference? I don't know. Uh, you know, I don't need two of them in there, so why don't you go ahead and hit up here, sir? I think the warrior in uh, in the capital has to stay because that's tradition for the older Civ games. It's not a not a complete game of Civ two unless you have your original warrior hanging out in your capital. See, I was I was creating a bit of a front here somewhere, right? Oh no, that's right. We just took this town. That's right. Okay, um, you need to go hang out in here. Just sentry in there for a little bit. And what is this? We have a rifleman hanging out here. And you have a marine, so you should be fine. You got a marine. Yeah, we will build up a couple more tanks and send them this way. Uh, maybe I should upgrade you. I will upgrade you. 131 bucks. Uh, we should watch, since we are losing money now, we should watch that. I may need to bump my luxuries back. Look at all the pollution. Man, look at all. It's like little Lego pieces everywhere. Clean up your Legos, kids. Um, we we will get we should get this town out of the way quickly. That way, I can focus my front over here because it is kind of a bad way of, of doing things. Uh, I'm tempted to actually, even though I and I just I just got done saying I shouldn't be attacking cities with you know like like this uh, with few units, but I'm in a situation here where it might be beneficial to do that. You have a tank. You have that. Where's this this other tank? I have. Uh, Tucanton has a tank. I don't want to leave over here. What if they? Yeah, there's a there's a rifleman right there. He can't. He might be able to beat a tank. I have city walls. No, he can't beat me. He would. The rifleman would defend first, and then the tank could beat him down. Um. Yeah, so I can't leave him. He's got to stay there. Oh, there's another one right there. Uh, you have a rifleman, so you're fine. Another one. All right. Let's see. You got three turns for a tank. You're working on tanks, too. You got a tank in one turn. Okay. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, next turn. So, yeah, I probably should have waited before I took the clearing war on the Tupi, but we have an interesting game now. So that's in the spirit of, of interests. <laughs> we'll do that. He scrolled down. Yeah. Cusco is now done with its work list. It built a tank. And let's take a look at Cusco. Oh, 1901. Hey, we made it. All right, you want you to go up here and build me a road. Is everything still recording like it should be recording? I think it is. It's still a little funky. I don't know what is the deal. Nothing is running in the background. I don't know. Maybe some sort of update happening that's not ideal at, the, at this present time. Uh, you go ahead and go here. Another tank. All right. Just go shoot this Lego blocks. Um, we should probably move. He's a good veteran guy. He defends at a four, though, so it's better for us to attack him. So let's move. You can't go there and move again, can you? Oh, you do have one more move, don't you? Uh, we're going to wait in the town, though. Okay, and I want you to go... Just go there for now. Actually, you have enough. You could make it in there. Yeah, get in there. Okay, fortify in there. Uh, you can't really defend. So why don't you hang out right there? What are you doing? Why are you, why are you still have go-to on you, but you're not going anywhere? Are you broken? Are you confused? Uh, I think he moved. What's in this stack? We have... Okay, just that. Okay. Oh, no! Dang it. I missed this town. How long have you been mad? Why are you mad? Stop being mad. Uh, between turns, I can't change that.
So we aborted since they gave an invalid location. Oh, who is this? Is that a, that's a transport. And we have pirate musketeers. Really? On top of all this, pirate musketeers? Who is this? This is... I need to look. Uh, kind of a grayish looking thing. Are you at war with me? You probably are. Um, these guys. Oh, no. This is the Vikings. Okay. He's neutral, so... Hey, Vikings. You're welcome to check out my lands. Uh, looks like this guy ran off. We still have one here. He's down there. Let's, um... Let's him back in the town. If he does come at me, then... We should be able to take him out rather easily. Just fortify there. We shouldn't put everyone... We have two riflemen? Yeah, one of you needs to move to the wheat, and we'll form a second stack. I don't want to get, lose my entire army in one fight. Okay, so you come over here and start building me a railroad. First railroad, 1900. And I'm... Oh, yeah. You cannot be there. <laughs> That's right, I moved the other guy out. And do I have something... Else. No, everyone has a... Everyone has... Alright. You're getting upgraded. How much do you cost to upgrade? 105. Alright, go over here. Surely a musketeer can't do anything. Right. Right. Um, You just hang out there. We're gonna just sort of hold the line. We gotta clean up this. Uh, don't go there. Oh, don't go there. Oh, wait. He's right next to me. We can kill him. Uh, Excuse me. You. Let's kill him. Here we go. Okay, fortify. And just move one more square, buddy. And we will kill you. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna just turtle up here and get uh, a bit of an army built up before we go, you know, on any sort of suicide missions. Like we did last time, you know? Looks like we're going by one year per turn. How long have we been doing that? I don't know. We were doing Two per turn, I thought, before. Oh, maybe not. <clears throat> There's the diplomat guy. Did you attack me? No. Rifleman lost attacked to the pirate musket. Really? Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, can we... Man, dead gummit. You know what? That is not one, two, and you can't make it there in one turn. I'm really going to lose the town to a dang musketeer? No way. What happens if I buy a rifleman? Um, change production. I'll just do that. Will he happen before that? Um, wait a minute. So, if my workers are in there... They get attacked. So that will cost his turn to attack these guys. So we're going to sacrifice you guys. I'm, I apologize for being a sacrifice, but you are important to the Empire. So that is a prime example of strength in numbers. <laughs> uh, you can't fortify. Um, Musketeer took down a Right, a rifleman. There is no city walls there, I suppose. Oh, you know what? You're there. You can kill him this turn. You know what, warriors? You've just been saved by the tank. I didn't get the money for the diplomat, but... That's okay. Okay, you're free. Go uh, do some roading and other things. Okay, Kidu has a new unit. We're starting to get a few folks down here. We'll get... We should get this town quickly. Um, we have... Yeah... We got six turns for the rifleman. We just buy the stupid thing. Yeah. Okay, so next turn we can move out these guys uh, onto the mountain, and tanks can hit that turn. And start back here, tanks can hit pretty easily. What's here? We have two tanks and a rifleman. Yeah, we got this town next next time. Just fortify. I hope he comes one more square closer. That would be nice. Uh, where is the worst pollution? I should clean up some of these farms. 
That's probably more important than that just road square. Just hang out here for now. Uh, let's keep an eye out here. Make sure we don't have any uh, toopy folks hanging out. Oh, we got pollution on the buffalo. I think everything else is okay. Uh, oh, we have howitzers. Nice. Okay. Um, can I upgrade you outside of a city? Uh, I don't want to because you are now looking at me on a mountain. So why don't you get back in there? Um, you, sir, are going to get upgraded, though. Oh, it has to be in my city. Okay, it does. Now, what do we have here? We have an artillery, a tank, and an artillery. So not enough. To attack. Not quite. We're almost there. Present units. Okay, yeah, you're getting upgraded, buddy. I'm going to go through my money fast if I keep this up. I don't want to hurt the science, though. I wish there was a way. I need another one of those reports to tell me how uh, how I'm doing in science. Where's uh, Who's the guy? Oh, look at the railroads. They look rather cool. Um, this tank can go ahead and... Uh, actually, just go here and heal up. And then I'll move you a little further. You're going to fortify there. And... Oh, you don't need to go there anymore. Maybe I should, because last time the pirates, that's where they stopped off. They stopped off here at Ancon. So I think I will actually leave you, leave you in that town. It's always a good idea. We'll put some roads on here, get some production. More production. You will clean up the... Oh, in? I hit P. I hope that's what I want. I guess N is remove. Maybe P stands for pillage. Can I kill him this? Should I attack him or should I just leave him? How long has that thing been there? How many, how many turns in this game has that been there? Uh, rifleman on a mountain. A very veteran rifleman. Get off the mountain. I can't. I'm not going to attack him while he's on the mountain. That just doesn't seem like a good idea. Did I move you yet? Get back in the town. Oh. Um, all right, next turn. Are things moving smoother now? It's still a little bit funky. I don't know what the deal is. I apologize for if it's a little choppy. Everyone's growing to a size 8. Humakuo has moved to build a tank. Uh, you know what? Uh, I need to go through and... So anyone that's building tanks... I know a lot of you are set on factories. Especially you... Uh, you need a sewer system. Do you have one? Uh, I guess so. I guess I can just look. Easy way. But uh, okay. So anyways, build me... Oh, I'm tempted to build cruise missiles. Howitzer. I need howitzers. Do that. And... Give me a factory I'll eat, so that you can be a little productive, a little more productive later on. Airport, no. No airports. Game likes airports. Uh, interesting. Increases by 100%. Manufacture on its own increases shield production by 50%. Um, that would be nice. This town is quite a, a nasty production town. Let's do it. Um... Give me that, and then you should be able to crank out some units then. Crank out some howitzers. I think howitzers will be our main unit for now because they attack at a 12. And um, the tank, tanks attack at a 10, howitzers attack at a 12, but only defend at a 1. So if we have howitzers with the occasional mechanized infantry to defend them, that might be a better way of going. Uh, there's also the idea of just using tanks, because tanks can somewhat defend themselves. Battleships. I could easily take out some port cities. The Supreme Naval Unit. Uh, you're not the town to build it, though. Give me a barracks. Uh, give me a factory first. What does an offshore platform do? I forget. 
Oh, right. Right. Yes, that is what you want. In fact, you want that before... Where is it? Where is it? Where did it go? Offshore platform, there is. You want that instead of the factory, actually. Building a tank in three turns. Yeah, keep on doing the tank. That's fine. Uh, Marines. No, I'm not too ex ecstatic about Marines. Give me a missile. Let's do a missile and see what happens. Do a couple of those. And uh, you're working on freight, which is good. I should be doing that. That is what I should be doing, actually. Uh, you know what? You can use an offshore platform, too. I, it'll give me, I think, far less production, if I am correct. And then a factory, I mean. You're fine. Nope, none of those. Give me a freight first. We gotta get, we, this will help our money. That's what we should be doing. And then give me a factory, and then you give me a research lab. Yeah. I think this is a decent enough town for one. Yeah, look at the science in this place. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't want a rifleman here. Do that, and then... Library. Give me a freight. And... Give me the usual things. I'm trying to do these off-camera. This, this, this stuff where I go through and check on my towns. I apologize for not... But we do need to mess with some things. Give me a freight to get my money back. And then let's do some of that. And then you can give me another tank then. Courthouse, that'd be very good. Actually, you know what? You could give me a um, engineer while you're at it. You could use it. Soupy, did you ever give me your engineer? Oh, he's next, after the library. All right. And we're back to Cusco. Which, after he builds a tank, I'm tempted to have Cusco... Oh, give me a battleship. Yes. In fact, I want the battleship now. We'll have it in six turns. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. And we could do this. We probably should. We are having some pollution issues. Um, that would be good, too. Uh, maybe all right. Give me, what, three extra shields? That doesn't hurt. Okay, uh, that's enough of that. Okay. So we have a few folks amassing up here. I think once we get, I'd say at least maybe six units, then we'll be okay. We can we can walk in there. Even the riflemen can attack. Uh, ideally, you want the tanks, you want at least three or four tanks to hit and damage the units that are in there. Then the riflemen should be able to clean up whatever's left. We shall see. We might even have enough there now. I'm eager to take that town to see what happens whenever I take down... Oh, that's right. They're getting repaired because of the UN. Um, you know what? Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead and get on up there. Um, railroad... There's. A... Let's railroad this way. It'd be a little more beneficial for me. We'll eventually get everything done, but for now... Yes, your tank. We're going to meet up everyone here at to Canton for this front. I, just, I need to keep an eye on these guys, which they, uh, they don't seem to be doing much to me. Oh, he's right next to me. Oh, perfect, perfect. Tank, take him down. Thank you. Oh, he didn't even hurt me hardly at all. Okay, so sit one turn, and the next turn we should be able to uh, get back out there. I was going to leave you here because this is the pirate place. What are you mad for? Don't be mad. Um, you have terrible production here. Starving. What can I do to fix your food? I could give you something food-like. I don't have any farms here. I need to just, yeah, I need to take care of this place. Let's dump the tank. Actually, dump the factory, too. Let's get you taken care of. You're not really in good shape. We get, we do have these guys around here. We'll turn these into farms. That should be enough for them. Um, oh, I have this here, too. So let's go ahead and get on it. Let me go irrigate those. Hey, we got a tank. Or a uh, freight. Who do we trade with? 
Who's our friend? You're our friend. Yeah, just go up there. Keep on roading it up. And you can irrigate there. Uh, okay, let's make our move. So we're going to hop on this mountain. And everyone that's here that I want, there's two tanks here. We're going to set them, I think, here. And the next turn we should be able to just walk in there. Go there. Oh, I, you are a little damaged. Um, you'll be alright. That, that was this turn, wasn't it? We have plenty of tanks. Go something like that. And I'm going to put another one on the top of the artillery. There we go. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Okay, and what do we have up here? Let's take a look. We now have... We have riflemen almost here. We have two decent offensive units and two of them there. So there's four, plus we have three more, four more riflemen. Yeah, next turn we can go in there. Next turn will be an exciting one. We're going to hit... We'll clean up the Tupi at the bottom at uh, in Argentina, in Chile there. And then the... Uh, We'll mark, march into here. It's the first time I've seen a um, um, wonder being built in a long time. We now have guerrilla warfare. Which we now I can research uh, labor union. That's what we want. Okay, so which one do we do first? Let's, let's do this guy first. Okay, so you, buddy. First attack, failed. Um, I'll let you go next. There we go. There's a win. And, yep. Keep going. Failed. I was about to fail. Can you get on this road and still attack? No, you cannot. Get down there. Stop bouncing around. Can you go on the hill? You still have movement, right? There we go. So there's two riflemen down... And we have the damaged guy. Come on, buddy. That was three riflemen in there? There's still something in there. Can I see what's in there? No. Oh, wait. Why does it say not occupied? There's a star there. I don't know. I'm tempted to check it out, though. Uh, you can make it right. You only have one move? I was thinking Marines had two moves. One, two. Oh, you can. One... Two. There we go. We killed whatever was left in there. What was left? Oh, a diplomat was in there. All right. And they're hacked now. Libu, what are you mad about? I just won a battle, Libu. You should be happy. We just murdered some innocent... I mean, we murdered our enemies. <clears throat> be happy about that. I could walk in there. This... No, I can't. I don't have anything I can reach there now. Um, whoops. Who's this? Oh, yeah, we got... Okay, now we can go up here. Now it's going to bounce me around probably this way. Um, okay, so you're going to go there, and then attack. Oh, we won our first battle. Oh, it's musketeers we're fighting against. Let's do the tank and go this way. He lost. I want the artillery. This is a nice veteran artillery here. And he won... Um, can you get in there, too? Oh, why did it... Ah. Why is it moving that guy? Um, you can't really do much. Alright, you are a veteran. Just go there. Oh, I couldn't... Oh, because you, you, you had a go-to thing on you. That's why you're... I kind of screwed that up. Where do we go? Do we go on top of the tank? Let's see if we can save the tank's life. Was there something left in that town? Yeah. I don't know why it says not occupied. I'd forgotten about middle click. You can middle click and it gives you some uh, terrain info. Info. I knew there was a button, but I couldn't remember it for some reason. But you can click and see what things do to you. Kind of an important button. Not one you want to forget about. All right, let's clean up uh, this mine. And you're going to irrigate that. And you are roading, sir. Next turn, and we will claim... Let's see if we can claim two cities. 
Let's see. We got some exciting ancient music going in for it. Ink and music. That's what this is. <laughs> so this order continues in Ulan. I'm not war with a what? What? Oh man, what is going on? Where's the Vikings at? Where's that transport at? I'm now at war with the Vikings. I gotta figure out where they went though. There's a transport somewhere around here. Um, where is he? There's a trireme, looks like there. Is it a trireme? Do I need to buy... Oh, partisans. Um... Oh, partisans have special rules. Oh, under, okay, that's why partisans pop up, right. Uh, okay, so we're going to buy this guy. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Why is he so expensive? <clears throat> we have a... Caravel. Okay. Okay, we should be able to get this town now. Um, you can <clears throat> go here, and then... Failed. Do I have... Can I do this? Um... Let's do it. Failed. There are only musketeers. We can kill musketeers, right? Failed. Wait, <laughs> horrible what? Squandering these units. Is that everybody? We have one more guy. Do I do it? Um. Yeah. What the heck? Failed. Why? So, why? They're musketeers. Succeeded. Um, <clears throat> what could possibly be left? Do we gamble and hope it's a diplomat? That sounds really risky. But if I don't do it, they're going to attack me and kill me. We'll kill the artillery anyways. Let's do it. Failed. All right. All right. I don't know what it means by no occupy there. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> oops. <laughs> All right. Let's take this town now. Uh, you get the honors. Okay, so Purin is now mine. We should set up the, uh, the rotation here. Give me a rifleman, and then the usual things. Granary would be good, and a harbor would be good. Harbor and... Library, market, and freight. Get freight in, that, in the list. Okay, so now all of these tanks are going to make their way this way. Maybe we should mount our offensive here in Paramunka. We'll work our way, just work from west to east. We'll hit uh, Keokai first, and then make our way over here. That might be the way to do it. I think maybe we should just... I'm just too eager to get that capital to see what happens. That I think that's kind of hosing me. Because I'm not thinking... I'm not playing very intelligently. <laughs> All right, uh, you got nobody in there, so we need that rifleman back. Where is he? Oh, that marine, that's right. All right, marine, get back in there. Fortify. And then everybody else, uh, you fortify in there. Go ahead and farm that up. And row. All right, yeah, everybody else to Paramunka. Uh, oh, yeah, you too. Yeah, so well, let's... Uh, next time, what we'll, we'll do is... We'll play this a little smarter. We'll just focus everything here in uh, Paramunka. And then we'll work our way through the Tupi. We will leave um, the northern branch here alone. I'll probably lose this guy next turn. We'll leave them alone for now. And then focus on a, a single front war, which probably would be wise, I suppose. Until we get a battleship and I won't be able to control myself. But I'm putting a cut here because this is going to be a long episode. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time.